Hello everyone, this is Simply Syrup coming to you with another video today on Two Point Campus, one of our favorite new games. And today we will be going over nine very important things that you may have missed in your playthrough. I don't want to take up any of your time, I don't have to do this introduction, but I just wanted to take a quick moment to say thank you for giving my channel a try, and I wanted to encourage you to consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you find anything new or enjoy the video. So thank you again, and without further ado, here's 9 super important things that you may have missed in Two Point Campus. Number 1 course size. If you didn't know, you can change the incoming course size of students to whatever you want. Simply click the gear icon on the top right of the course management screen at the beginning of the year. This is actually super important to do because the default incoming student count of 10 isn't as optimal as it could be. The perfect incoming class size is actually 8 or multiple of 8. Basically, classes only teach 8 students at a time, and each class has to be run twice according to the course curriculum. So to accommodate 10 students, you will have to run 6 classes a year, compared to 3 classes if you only have 8 students. That's half the number of classes for only 2 less students. Freeing up half your course time every year is a pretty huge bonus. This will allow your teachers to literally work half the time allowing for things like upgrades and more bathroom breaks. Additionally, you will need fewer rooms to complete each year, which is a super bonus because floor space is the most important Harrison, commodity in Two Point University. And for comment, the Number 2. Career Goals One super important thing you might have missed is your career this goals. Career goals are the achievements in the game that follow you to each campus. They will award you with extra kudosh, meaning that they are super important to try and complete. You may have missed these because the tab opener is so small. But if you look to the top of the screen, you will see the career goals. Simply click to see all types of achievements that you can start working towards. If this is your first time hearing of career goals, then you're welcome. You'll probably have a few completed just waiting to be collected. Most career goals are unlocked simply by playing the game and don't require any extra work to complete. However, they are absolutely worth working towards due to their high rewards. Number 3. Bookworms did you know that there are collectibles in Two Point Campus? Well you do now. They're called bookworms and they can sprout up all over campus. I always thought that they were little moles until I watched a challenge set idle for a few years asking me to find them. These little worms will sprout up out of the ground seemingly at random and all you have to do is click on them. Each bookworm you find will supply you with a little extra kudosh and there are a few challenges that will supply you with bonus kudosh if you find enough bookworms. I know what you're thinking, I've never seen a bookworm before, how will you know what to look for? The best I can tell you is to just watch your campus and wait for little creatures to sprout up out of the ground. They are honestly quite common, the real trick is being fast enough to catch them. They come up a lot and don't stay for long when they do. Anyway, just be on the lookout for these little guys for some extra kudosh. Number 4. Campus Overview for our next little tidbit of information that you might have missed, I wanted to direct you to what may just be the most important screen in the game, the Campus Overview screen. Just navigate over to the Campus Management tab and locate the Campus Overview prompt. In this Campus Overview screen, you will find basically every bit of information you need to know about your university. You can find little things like reputation, staffing, and financing information. You will even find an advice section to help keep you on track. This screen is super powerful and I would recommend familiarizing yourself with it because this is normally where I go to tackle problems around the campus. It also gives me insight on what I should be doing next. So it's kind of like a jack of all trades screen that is just slightly hidden from view. System. Number 5. Loans. Did you know that you can take out loans in Two Point Campus? Yes, this game truly has the full college experience. This is something that you may have missed because you don't really need any loans in the early maps because you started off with so much money. However, as you're watching guides on this channel and move on to 3 starring maps with ease, money will become even harder to find, especially when you're just starting out on a new campus. To get things up and running, you may have to take out a loan. Just head over to the Campus Management tab and locate the loans icon. Here you will see different offers made from various institutions based on your overall campus prestige level. The higher your level, the more money you can receive. Just be careful. 
Each loan has different interest rates, so they may not all be created equal. Remember when taking out a loan that you will have to pay it back. It's unfortunately not free money. So make sure you are going to take out a loan to use your money to expand your campus and bring in more revenue. I would avoid taking out a loan just to get a few more decorations down. Loans should be used to increase revenue, and if you remember that, you should be just fine. Number 6. Extra Revenue This one won't come as a surprise to anyone, but it's one of my favorite functions in the game, so I chose to include it anyway. You can earn extra revenue from the food and drink kiosk on your campus. It's true that you won't earn as much as tuition or experience gain brings in, but you can certainly make enough money to place down a few extra decorations by the end of the year. Kiosks aren't the only way to earn a few extra dollars. Things like drink and snack machines will bring in money as well. This one really isn't game changing in any way, but it's fun to think about. Just try to place your money makers along well-traveled routes throughout your college for maximum potential. Number 7. Decorations I don't know why this one was such a surprise to me, but it's true most decorations can be placed anywhere on campus. I was under the impression that decorations were locked to specific rooms, and some definitely are, but the majority of decorations can be placed anywhere. This includes hallways, foyers, and basically any space that could use a little extra pizzazz. Some decorations can even be placed both inside and outside. This means that you can get a little extra happiness and entertainment score by simply placing decorations down hallways. Basically everywhere in the game can be decorated, so try to, to leave no stone unturned. I don't remember going to college. We are back. Number 8. Rent. Did you know that rent is not included in your campus's tuition? This was a super big surprise to me that I found on the campus overview screen we talked about earlier. Apparently, a large portion of your campus's revenue actually comes from rent. These bedrooms are expensive. However, this may not be the case for you. As it turns out, rent is based on the satisfaction score of your dormitories, along with how many beds and students you have. This means that if you want to earn more money from rent, the best way to do it is probably by decorating your dormitories better and raising their star level. Just remember, if you choose to go the decoration route, the tip we discussed in our last video, variety over duplication. Yeah, that one. Increasing your dormitory score is a great way to earn extra money, so this should be a focal point on every college that you build. Number 9. Summer to finish today's video, the last thing I wanted to let you know is that summer does indeed last forever, or at least until you click the green start semester button. Things like research and staff upgrades will pause, but time still moves on, allowing you to construct new buildings and such. I think summertime is the best time to build and add on to your university. I would say probably half of my game is spent in summertime just decorating. Now this may be a bad thing for a few reasons, I will leave that up to you to decide, but I wanted to just make clear that summer does last forever, and you can take as much time as you want, decorating, expanding, and enjoying your playthrough. Well, there you have it. Nine things you may have missed in Two Point Campus. I really hope you enjoyed the video and will be able to take some of this information away to be used in your own playthrough. Thank you so much again for giving my channel a try, and for those of you who have made it this far in the video for supporting. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed because we will be coming out with more Two Point Campus content soon that you won't want to miss. One last time, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you have a terrific day. Until next time, this is Simply Syrup signing off.